Hello friends, this video on microbes in human welfare part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, microbes also play a very important role in the process of cheese preparation. Now, cheese is something which is quite commonly used in various uh, uh, recipes. So, how do the cheese, how is the cheese prepared? So, let us have a quick look at that. Now, cheese preparation is little li related to the way curd is prepared. So, here also the process of curdling is done to some extent. So, let us see what happens here. Now, here milk is separated into solid curd and liquid whey. Now, what is this solid curd and what is liquid whey? Now, here also the same process of curdling is initiated. So, what happens? You take milk in a bowl, you add little bit of starter because here also starter is needed now what kind of starter do we need here so here we do not need the starter here should not be the curd the starter here is mostly uh, a little bit of lemon juice or vinegar so something of this sort is added to the milk now after a few minutes, after a couple of minutes, it is observed that the milk gets separated into a solid curd-like thing and the remaining part of the milk is in the form of liquid, which is like a watery liquid. So this watery liquid is called whey and that the solid thing is the solid curd. So this is how milk can be separated into solid curd and liquid whey. Now why the sep how the separation takes place? Now this separation, the basic the concept behind this separation is also the coagulation of proteins. Now when we add lemon juice or vinegar, the entire pH inside the uh, milk changes and as a result of which the, some of the milk proteins start coagulating. That is they start coming together each other forming small masses of small Small solid masses and those solid masses together form the solid curd and the remaining liquid portion is uh, it comes out as liquid whey so this is how milk is first separated into solid curd and liquid whey now during this process also what happens is the lactose which is present in milk that is the sugar in milk which is lactose that gets converted into lactic acid due to the formation of lactic acid this solid curd will have a sour taste so here also in, during this process so what happens here let us write it down here so the starter which is used here could be a bit of lemon juice or a bit of vinegar so whatever you feel like so this is the starter which will be used here so during this process also lactose will get converted into lactic acid now due to this formation the entire environment gets changed pH gets lowered formation of lactic acid causes coagulation of proteins it gives sour taste to the curd so all these changes happens due to this uh, conversion of lactose into lactic acid now what happens to prepare cheese we do not need the liquid hay so this part is not really required so what do we do the water is removed from the solid curd to form soft cheese or hard cheese now there are different types of cheese you would have seen that there are many different types of cheese which are prepared now uh, there are two categories of cheese which are prepared one is soft cheese like paneer which we normally eat in India and there is another type of cheese that is hard cheese which you would have seen it comes in slices and packets so they are comparatively harder than paneer so in order to prepare so softness or hardness depends upon the amount of water which is present in it so if you completely extract all the water so the cheese which will be prepared is, is going to be hard cheese and if there is more amount of water then it is going to be a soft cheese so this is how by removing the water watery part and taking up only the solid part uh, cheese is further prepared now the question is what are the which microbes are involved in this process of cheese preparation so there are two types of bacteria which are involved in this process now the first type of bacteria which are involved are the mesophilic bacteria so that is one type of bacteria 
and there is another type of bacteria which are involved in this in this process of cheese making and that is thermophilic bacteria now what are mesophilic and what are thermophilic bacteria okay so thermo means what thermo means heat that is temperature something related to temperature and philic means the philic is derived from the word phi phi means love so love for temperature thermophilic means bacteria which live at higher temperature so these bacteria can survive at high temperatures whereas the mesophilic bacteria can survive at room temperature so these are the two types of bacteria and these two types of bacteria can prepare the different types of cheese like mostly the mesophilic bacteria is used for the preparation of the soft cheese whereas the thermophilic bacteria is used for making the hard cheese. So these are the different set or different categories of bacteria which are involved in the process of cheese preparation. Now, as I mentioned before that a starter is always needed for this process and this start without this starter this entire conversion of lactose to lactic acid will not happen and as long as this conversion doesn't take place your milk is not going to convert into anything else milk is going to be milk. Now you would have observed another thing that there are many different types of cheese which are available in the market and different cheese have different taste different cheese have different flavor so how do they get different taste and different flavor when the process which they follow remains the same now if you compare the formation of different types of cheese you what do you see the entire process is the same so what is the only difference the only difference is in the type of bacteria which is involved in the process of preparation so depending upon the type of bacteria which is involved in the process the taste or the flavor of the cheese also changes so flavor and taste of different types of cheese is due to the different types of bacteria which are involved in the process because as i said now there are these are only the two types of bacteria now in mesophilic bacteria there are several different bacteria and all of them can prepare cheese but depending upon each bacteria the process the Overall process will remain the same, that is lactic acid will be formed, therefore curd will be formed. So all those things will remain the same. But during the formation of this soft cheese or hard cheese, the bacteria which are involved, they also play some role. So each bacteria will have different metabolism, they will have different way of doing things. So as a result of which the chemical reactions which take place during i mean for each of the bacteria they are little different and as a result the flavor and taste of the cheese also varies so these were some of the uh, applications of um, microbes where we see that microbes are useful to us in preparing so many different household products like curd cheese uh, idli dosa and cakes bread so so many items Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.